Designing object-oriented software that stand the test of time is hard. The goal is to create a resilient but simple model that satisfies current requirements while allowing future extension. Experienced software developers will tell you that in most cases their application starts with a model that is clean and elegant, but over time their system starts to rot and becomes difficult to maintain and extend. Robert Martin lists four telltale signs of a bad architecture in his design principles and design patterns published in 2000. Rigidity, fragility, immobility, and viscosity. It also suggests principles we should follow in order to produce a good design, which were later popularized as the solid principles. These principles are golden, and every software developer should know them and practice them every day. However, they are very high level, and they don't actually help us understanding how we need to structure our code to solve a particular problem. And that's exactly what design patterns are meant for. Design patterns are solutions to common problems we encounter when trying to model a system. One of the most influential books on this topic is Design Patterns, Elements of Reusable Object-Oriented Software, also known as the Gang of Four book because of its authors. Despite it was published back in 1994, its patterns are used even today in most code bases and leading frameworks, no matter the programming language. The reason why design patterns are so popular is that they allow us to generalize our model. Rather than creating a model that fits exclusively our current requirements, we invest some time to integrate generic patterns that have been tested over and over on multiple projects and libraries. This way we have the guarantee that our code base will be easy to maintain and extend in the future. Another advantage of using design patterns is that they create a shared vocabulary. Imagine we are brainstorming about our next feature, and I tell you, I think we should use a chain of responsibility to filter incoming requests. If we both know what a chain of responsibility is, that's enough for me to explain what I have in mind. We don't need to waste time trying to explain each other how we want to structure our code. Design patterns were divided in three sections in the Gang of Four book. Creational, Structural, Behavioral. Creational patterns abstract distanciation process. They help us create a system independent of how its objects are created. Structural patterns focus on how classes and objects are composed to form larger structures. Finally, behavioral patterns are concerns with algorithms and the assignment of responsibilities between objects. I decided to create a video series that is going to cover these patterns. I created a specific playlist on the channel so we can track our progress. It will take me some time, but you can start with this one.